actually gonna take the pump from here and the scope. It's got him. Why, oh, look at him. What's up, Billy's fam? Welcome back. This is part two of our huge 1,000 gallon indoor pond that we are building. And if you watched part one, you're probably looking at this saying, well, where's the water and why does it look half built? Um, so worst thing ever that could have happened right after we built this and we filled it about halfway, there was probably like 500 gallons in here. We got a freaking leak and I am beside myself because we don't understand how. Like, we took such good care of this pond liner, it shouldn't have happened. I don't know what happened, but it must have been faulty. Um, so unfortunately, we had to reach out to the company. They were nice enough, nice enough to send us a new one. We got a thicker material. So this one was 14 millimeter, the new one is 20. So hopefully the, thick, the extra thickness will help. So what we have to do real quick is we gotta undo all the top that we put on and we're just gonna put the new one right on top of the old one, almost so that it's double lined, minus that one little gap. Um, super pain in the ass, it sucks, it is what it is. We gotta get this done tonight, it is really cold. I need to get the rest, I know you saw some of them here, which I'm not gonna even mention that or talk about that, we'll do that on another video, but we gotta get everybody else, including the turtles, in here. So, getting this done tonight, I'm just gonna kinda let the camera roll, you'll see us undoing and putting the new one in. Gonna fill it tomorrow, get the filter set up tomorrow, and by the end of this video, we will hopefully have a complete thousand gallon pond. Stay tuned. Hey, real quick, take a peek in here. So, we had to fix up a little bit of the wood turtles pond, so I let them roam with Charlie. And uh, yeah, so this is happening. They're sharing food. I don't know if Charlie's happy about it. I'm sorry, bud. We'll get them out soon, I promise. up until, I don't even know, one, two in the morning. Tay absolutely killed it. This was a lot more difficult. Uh, it's a little bit of a thicker material, like we said. So it was a lot more difficult to get, especially with another liner already there. The staples were a little bit more difficult to put in because you're putting it through two, but I think we did it. So we are in now, we are gonna now put back all of the wood on top. Once we get that all lined up, get that all done. And then we're gonna start filling and fingers crossed, Billings fam, fingers crossed. It is time for some water. Gray, are you ready? Yeah. I got Gray, he's gonna do the honors. Tay's upstairs. Tay, turn the water on. I see it, it's coming. Ready? There's water. I can't wait to get in this pool. Oh my goodness. All right, everybody, fingers crossed. I, I don't know what I did, I almost did peace, but fingers crossed, please no leaks. We need this filled today. It's already been, I don't know, an hour and a half. This is, this takes a long time. So just real quick, a couple of things that we did off camera while this has been filling. We put a couple of braces here along the side, just for some extra support. It looked like the wood was bowing out just a little. So we did that all the way around and we will probably do that here. Uh, again, this is our first time building one this big. I think in the future, just for you guys, if you're gonna ever copy this, I would definitely be prepared to put some of those braces in. All right, so we are outside. The pond is a mess because it is end of season. Time to get in. And what we are doing today is we're actually gonna take the pump from here and this filter, I'm gonna clean it out a little bit. And this is what we're actually gonna use inside this year. I want some really good strong filtration in there. so. This will do wonders in there, so that's what we're gonna do. Gray, check this out, dude. Yeah. <laughs> we gotta clean it off. Yeah. Yeah, buddy. All right, so we got that. All right, just cutting the last pieces of filter floss here and setting that up. Boom. So, give you a quick update here. We have our filter in place. We got the pump set up over there now. We might change this. It's, it's kind of hard with this hose to try and get a good arrangement here, but we're trying. I, I think I want to do this. And again, you know, first time doing something this large, so we're kind of playing around. Um, what we are going to do, I'm going to plug that in, give it a quick test, make sure everything runs and nothing leaks. And then what we're also going to do by the end of this video, we're going to get the heaters in here, we're going to get the caves from outside, and we're going to get one of the plants that's still doing really well outside. I want to see if this grow light 
will be enough for it to stay alive. I'm not sure if it will. It's a papyrus plant. Um, I think it's a dwarf papyrus. I'm gonna try it out. So, without further ado, let's plug this bad boy in. Let's just see real quick what we're working with here. That is a, that's a flow and a half, huh? So one thing I also might have to do, I might have put some new silicone in around one of them. This one held up really well. So there's going to be technically a part three of this, which is probably gonna be the most exciting. That's when we get all the fish in here and the turtles. And I think in that video, we'll probably have the whole setup for the turtles because we're gonna have to build them a, a whole basking area, which we might do right here and then kind of get a light going. Oh no, pump's there. Probably gonna have to be on that side. One of these signs, we'll get them somewhere set up over here. And the other piece that is coming in here, we're gonna have some sort of wave maker going because I really wanna get a nice flow in here so that nothing kind of settles and, and collects at the bottom. So we gotta keep that moving. All right, I can't believe I'm doing this. This is incredible. So it is, it's basically winter. I know it's fall, but it's basically winter. I have to somehow get in this pond right now real quick and I don't want to and I'm scared and it's gonna be the coldest thing I've ever felt in my life. Have you, any of you ever done that like polar bear challenge? Because I feel like that's what this is right now. What's that? Where those idiots plunge into the ocean in the winter. Oh yeah. yeah. Dude, it's it's literally, it's ice. It's, it's like stepping into ice. Oh! <laughs> oh my God, it's the coldest thing in... Okay, 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 we gotta do this quick. We gotta do this quick. Oh my God, it's so cold, it's so cold. My feet are numb already. Really? Yeah, come on. Okay, okay watch out, bud. Oh my God. That is the coldest water I've ever felt in my life. That's like worse than going up into Maine and going in the water in the ocean in the summer, and that's cold water. <laughs> now that we got the cave that we're gonna build, I'm also doing some hornwort fishing here. So the hornwort we put in here absolutely exploded. It covers like this whole thing. I'm gonna be honest, the turtles and the catfish that are still in here are probably using that to keep warm because there's so much of it. So I'm gonna get it out. We're gonna try and keep this growing inside. I mean, I've put it in almost every tank that's inside right now. I love it. But uh, we're gonna wash it off in some clean aquarium water and obviously get all these leaves out of here. <laughs> what do you guys think so far? Really cool, so we got one of the caves in and we got, uh, oh, I didn't show them this. So I have this diverted now coming out of like a three-way PVC pipe. I just, I like that it's not such a splash down. It kind of pushes the water a little bit more and it helps divide it up a little bit. So I like that. We've got all that set. Um, we got some pothos plants. We're gonna go crazy with pothos plants around here. I'm excited for that. So this is our giant dwarf papyrus. I don't know that it's gonna keep growing. It probably won't. It's under the grow light, but it hasn't fully died outside yet. So I figured we'd give it a shot. But one of the things that we did notice, look at this, it has grown a complete whole other like branch off of here. This one and this little one and the roots on it like, are like crazy. So we were going to kind of snap this off here and see if it is something that we could replant. I don't know if that's even a possibility. I don't know if that's even how this plant works or, or propagates, but I figured it's worth a shot. I mean, look at those, those are, those are damn good roots. It's got to. Why? Oh, look it. In another one's budding. Check this out. Look at this. We got our plant in here. Really cool. We got the cave. I just added one of the heaters here. This is a really awesome uh, heater. It is by, I think it's called Higer. Yeah, this Higer. Really cool. It's got your digital readout there. It is obviously not strong enough for this, but we're going to put another one down there. So walking right along here. Really cool. Check this out. We did this nice little split. We got a good flow there. The uh, pump is over there. I just got to put a bag on that. But other than that, that's good. We got some pothos there. I think I showed you that. But other than that, I mean, this is, I'm so excited. We got a few more aesthetics coming. We're going to fix up that wall, maybe this wall. But this is almost ready for fish. Guys, the monsters are going in any day now. Any day. So excited. So make sure you stay tuned for the end of this clip 
There is going to be a part three where we put all the fish and turtles in here. So excited. Make sure, as always, subscribe down below, hit that bell, and share this around. I've been including the link now in everything. Make sure you check that out. We got our new donation page. We are trying with the state to become a nonprofit rescue foundation, which is amazing and will be super helpful. So any way you guys can help out, check, check it out down below. Share this around. Let's check out the final product. We are ready for fish, guys. I can't wait. Make sure you have those notifications on because next video after this is releasing all the monsters and turtles into this pond. I'm. This is awesome. This is so exciting. Really cool. What a better look than last year's pool. I hope you guys liked it and followed along. Any questions you guys have, please shout it out down below. I'll answer as many as I can. Um, oh, by the way, guys, we're gonna start doing live videos every Friday, whether one person comes or a thousand, we're gonna do them every single Friday. I would plan for either seven or eight, 8 p.m. Eastern time, we'll decide and I'll let you guys know. We will do everything from little tours to feedings to maybe even some trivia. What do you think, Gwen? Exciting stuff? I'm excited, hope you guys will join. So. Let's get to this episode. Well, two things we gotta get to. First, we're gonna get to the winner from the gift card giveaway. And the winner for that is Bob Bradley, who obviously said fish. He also said, keep up the great work. Love your videos. Bob Bradley, thank you, man. You are the winner. Please reach out to any one of our outlets so we can get you that gift card. Now, without further ado, let's get to our good vibe shout out. This goes out to Dan's Exotic Animals, Duarte. I don't remember that being at the end. Anyways, Dan said, I have a pair of wood turtles and my female just laid eggs. Really cool, we actually responded to him and he had said that his were probably around 11 years old or that's how old they were when they got them, so either 11 or 12 now, which is close to what we had heard. We had heard around 13, 14 years old, so really cool, unfortunate that we have to wait so long for ours to do that, but still really cool. So, I hope you guys enjoyed. I'm so excited. I can't wait, man. I can't wait. The fish are going in. Awesome. Kids screaming in the background. That's all right. We're going to power through. As always, Billings fam. Peace. Come on, pet Jeff. Come here. Come here. Let me see him. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Jeff. Hold on. Okay. Did you touch him? <laughs> Subscribe below. Look at this guy. He wants to get. They always come over to us. We are walking to PetSmart. Very, very small fish. Excellent, guys. Fred is in great shape. Woo! Clovis, say hi. Is doing so much better underneath.